Oregon's majestic Columbia River Gorge is a mecca for hikers from across the Northwest. In 2009, the twisting, narrow, mountainous trails attracted an aspiring model and her boyfriend. Tomorrow night on 48 Hours, Peter Van Sant looks at the young mother's bizarre prediction of how her hike could end. Here's a preview. From the first moment Stephen Nichols met Rhonda Casto, he knew he'd met the girl of his dreams. When I met Rhonda, it was just like nothing can compare to Rhonda. I was beyond smitten with her. When our daughter was born, it meant everything to her. It became the focus and the center of her life. She just like her mom. She loves jewelry. When their daughter was nine months old, Rhonda decided to return to her other passion, modeling and she needed to lose some weight. And so she came up with the idea, she goes, let's hike the 25 most famous trails in Oregon. So that was our goal. As Rhonda and Stephen made their way up this Eagle Creek Trail, they had some challenges. It was about 40 degrees and the weather was spotty. There were showers from time to time and the trail was damp. Had it been raining at the beginning, I wouldn't have gone up. By the time Stephen Nichols and Rhonda Casto headed back down this narrow path, the weather had turned. Suddenly, disaster struck. When Nichols says Rhonda slipped off the trail. A man hiking with Rhonda Casto says that she fell off a cliff last night. It was a tragic accident. But Rhonda's best friend, Jessica Colburn, recalls an ominous conversation about that hike. I knew there was a hike planned. What did she say to you? She said, he's either going to propose to me or kill me. Nichols was questioned, but with little physical evidence collected by detectives at the scene and no eyewitnesses, no charges were filed. Rhonda's mother, Julia Simmons, kept pressing investigators for answers, convinced that Stephen Nichols had pushed her daughter off that trail. I kept calling and asking why anything, nothing was happening. Nichols moved on with his life, moving all the way to China for work and to raise his daughter. There was even romance. I'm very much in love with my Chinese fiance. Five long years passed until a grand jury was called to review all the circumstantial evidence. Their decision, an indictment. Nichols had no idea when he stepped off a plane in February 2015, he would be arrested and charged with the murder of Rhonda Casto. Peter Van Sant is with us this morning. Good morning. What led to the arrest all those years later? Well, evidence-wise, absolutely nothing. But in early 2014, a best-selling true crime author, Stephen Jackson, sends an email to the prosecutor saying, I'm going to write a book about this case, and justice doesn't seem to have been served. The next day, the prosecutor writes him back and says it's time to put this before the people, and a grand jury is called. Mm -hmm. Is there any evidence that he, he pushed her? Uh, no, there is no physical evidence or no eyewitnesses uh, that day. And I've been at that very spot was uh, rainy, uh, slippery. And according to Stephen Nichols, uh, Rhonda was skipping down the path when she mm. slipped and fell. And in that area, they lose about four people a year to falls. Oh, gosh, wow. Peter. Let me just say congratulations. Last week's show, the highest rated of the season for 48 hours. Yes, it was terrific. Wow. Terrific. Okay, we're congratulations. Very, we're very happy. Team. Well done. Thank you. And thank you. And you can watch Peter's full report, Trail of Tears, as part of a four, special 48 hours double feature that starts tomorrow night at 9, 8 central here on CBS.